Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Pagey here, once again with another Arrow Season 4 review, and this is going to be Episode 5, entitled Haunted. So sorry that there's no, like, face cam or anything like that. I have uh, just got some issues with my computer, and it's sort of, like, stuttering, I guess, when I try to record with it, so I'm just going to have to go with voice for this review. So there will be spoilers in this video, so if you've not seen the episode, don't watch the video, obviously, but if you do want to enjoy it, leave a like, leave any comments on what you thought in the episode, and subscribe if you are new. So the episode actually starts off with Sarah like fighting crime like she was when she was the Black Canary, but she's also fighting victims as well, which we will find out in a bit. But one, inter one interesting thing, sorry, is that she was actually speaking Arabic. Meanwhile, Oliver is continuing his push for, uh, you know, his campaign for mayor, but he's also got this like political advisor, which is he's trying to give him like not only just political advice, but also like life advice to stay away from like Laurel and stuff like that. Now, as we know, John Constantine is in this episode, and we actually get introduced to him on in the flashback, sorry, on Leanne Yu, where he's actually getting interrogated. In the present time, Oliver actually finds out that Sarah is alive after she is causing mayhem in Star City, and obviously Oliver does not approve of this at all. Diggle is continuing on with his little, I want to take Hive down, but he actually asks Lance to help him take Hive down as well. Now, as we would all know, Sarah is a big part of this episode, and Sarah actually has been attacking girls, as I said, she's been attacking, like, victims as well. She's actually attacking girls that look exactly like Thea. And this obviously has to do with, like, the, the bloodlust. You have to kill the person that killed you to, like, sort of get that bloodlust away from you. Obviously, Thea can't do this because Rachel al Ghul's already dead, but, Laura, ah, sorry, Sarah can because Thea is still alive. So, Sarah actually eventually finds Thea, but Thea is actually able to escape. One interesting thing is that, like, after, like, Thea does escape, she actually goes to hospital and stuff like that, but Sarah manages to get into Thea's hospital room, but did Laurel let her in? Because it honestly looked like and Laurel was acting a really suspect, they didn't really make it unbelievably notable in the show, but to me it seemed like Laurel did and they might appear in like a later episode or something, I don't know, they might just brush over it, but I found it pretty interesting that Sarah was able to get into her room, but uh, yeah, it was pretty interesting. Now, Thea is actually used as bait to lure Sarah into a trap where she's actually tra uh, tranquilized, sorry, and then Constantine is called upon in the present time to attempt to bring back her soul. Now, Constantine performs this, like, ritual with, uh, along with L Oliver and Laurel, sorry. They're taken to, like, this after- I'm gonna call it the afterlife. Um, people might call it, like, another realm, but I'm gonna call it the afterlife. And they go there to retrieve Sarah's soul. Now, after this, Constantine is leaving, obviously, but he does say something, because Oliver does mention Damien Dark, and Constantine knows that name, and Constantine warns Oliver of how dangerous he can be, that whatever he saw in that afterlife, whatever Damien Dark can do is ten times worse. So it's going to be really interesting to see what Damien Dark can do, because we have not seen the like, even a percentage of what his powers could be, so it's going to be really interesting to see what he can do. And we also find out that Diggle's brother was actually assassinated because he was being, uh, well, as I say in the show, an eager beaver towards uh, certain drug operations. And Lance gives Diggle all this information on why his brother was killed. And the last thing we see in this episode is actually Curtis manages, or Mr. Terrific, whatever you want to call him, manages to fix Ray's message that he left for Felicity, which reveals that he's actually still alive. And most likely, dun 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 dun, Adam sized. So we'll probably figure that out in the next. Look to that in the next couple of episodes leading into Legends of Tomorrow, and uh, should be pretty cool. But overall, I give this episode a four out of five. I really enjoyed Constantine's involvement. It would not surprise me if Constantine appeared in more episodes, if not Arrow, if not Flash, or even I'm predicting Legends of Tomorrow. He'll make more appearances in just because I think that show has the flexibility of introducing as many characters as they, as they want. Sorry, but he could also appear in Flash. Like you never know. They sometimes cross over. Like Barry might have an issue that might involve needing Constantine Oliver's like yo I know a dude don't worry but anyway leave your opinions in the comment section below what did you think of this episode I really enjoyed it leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you are new I'll catch you later guys goodbye